So, snow's all gone. We uh, were getting really nice weather out here in a t-shirt today. Um, and it's probably getting to that time of year when people will want to go out on their bikes. So we're going to do a little series just helping you get your bike ready for a uh, cycling about in spring. Today we're going to have a very quick look at brakes. Uh, one of the most frequent things that people pitch up uh, wanting to get their brakes fixed, they're rubbing or they're stuck or something like that. Uh, and actually nine times out of ten it's a really easy fix. So we're going to have a little look at that and just show you uh, how, how that can be done. Uh, here's Fern to help me, to supervise. Uh, <clears throat> and most of the time you only need two tools. You need a screwdriver, flat bladed screwdriver. Uh, and a couple of Allen keys. Uh, quite often people maybe have a little set like this with a few different sizes. Uh, on some brakes you don't even need the screwdriver, you just need a set of Allen keys. So, uh, what sort of things can go wrong? Uh, well the brakes are obviously pretty important, they're the thing that make the bike stop uh, when you're cycling along. So you want your front and your rear brakes working properly. Uh, when you're cycling along, uh, you don't want them to rub uh, because that'll slow the wheel down it'll, uh, and it causes uh, all sorts of problems with the wheel rim and things like that. But obviously as well, when you pull the brake on, when you pull the lever at the handlebars, you want the bike to actually stop. So, the business bit of the brakes are these. Uh, obviously we're going to be talking about uh, what are called rim brakes. So these are basically blocks of rubber that, that when you squeeze the lever, press against the side of the wheel and slow you down. Some bikes, if you've got a newer bike or a fancier bike, might have a disc brake uh, and that that needs a, a, a couple of different techniques to make that, that work. But, so, <clears throat> first things first, always check your brakes work before you start riding your bike. That's one of the, even if I'm in a rush, it's one of the things I always do, just check my tyres are pumped up and my brakes work. That's the absolute bare minimum. Uh, there's a few other things you can check as well. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, so first things first, if your brakes aren't working, if you pull the lever and it's not doing what it's supposed to, you can still pull the lever on and here we go. And nothing's happening. This brake is still rolling along quite happily. Then we want to check that the cable's attached and it's really simple. There's a little metal uh, slot here and you just pull the cable back together. Oh. Pull the cable back together and is it going to fit? Yes it is. <clears throat> there we go, pops in. And that, if, if you've still got it, there should be a little rubber cover that just pops onto the end of that. Uh, if that's not there, if it's got ripped off or something, it's not the end of the world. It's there to try and stop dirt coming up off the wheel and working its way into the cable, which can be a problem. So, once you've got that clipped in, give the lever a wee push, check and see, mm, that brake's working. So it's stopping the wheel from turning around. Sometimes though, we also, if we give it a wee spin with the lever, just leaving the lever alone, sometimes the wheel catches and the brake blocks rub against the wheel and we need to adjust those a little bit. So, a couple of things we can do. First things first, going down to where your wheel attaches to the the forks, whether you've got suspension forks or rigid, in here. Uh, just make sure that that wheel's properly seated in those forks. Uh, it might be a quick release skewer like this, make sure it's done up properly, 
we'll talk about that in a future video as well. Uh, if it's bolts, make sure the bolts are done up. <coughs> the next most common problem, I'm just going to bend this down a bit, is in here. Sometimes even if the wheel's in your uh, fork properly, these pads get bopped or uh, knocked about and sometimes they end up uh, a little bit out of adjustment. And you'll see on 99 out of 100 <coughs> brakes that look like this on each each arm of the brakes there's a little screw here uh, and what that does is each brake has a little spring just this simple wire here and that needs to be clipped this, this one's got a little sort of a, a stud there just needs to be clipped behind that uh, so that it's under tension and then sometimes this is a screw sometimes it's a tiny little allen key like this and all you need to do is just make a little adjustment tiny little adjustment and you can actually see I'm going to do quite a big one here and maybe I'm not because this is there we go and I can actually see when I move that right the way round that arm just relaxes right onto the wheel so that will if I do that a bit more there we go. you can actually see that wheel was spinning really freely to begin with and now that I've let all the tension out of the spring <clears throat> it's rubbing. So what I need to do is I'm making a big adjustment but you hopefully will just need to do little quarter turns or half turns just enough. You can as I say you can actually see it happening. You can see the this is a rubbish screwdriver should have brought a better screwdriver with me. There we go. So that just, you can actually see that arm pulling away from the brake as I do that. And now, probably gone a little too far because now that one's pulling. And just always give it a little brake lever, a little squeeze until you get it running nice and freely. What I'm going to do is pause the video and go and get a slightly better screwdriver. So, <clears throat> back with a better screwdriver and just tweak that a little bit until I see the pads lift off the wheel Give it a little squeeze, spin the wheel, and that's nice. There's no rubbing or scuffing or anything like that. And that's basically what you're wanting. Uh, so before you ride, check your brakes. As I say, make sure the cable's connected. Make sure the wheel's in the dropouts properly. <clears throat> make sure the little springs are engaged, one at each side. And then, if you need to, just make little adjustments with a screwdriver or a little Allen key, like probably about that size. Just a little wee Allen key sometimes goes in there and just adjusts. <clears throat> and that's it. The other thing you can do if you really want to give your bike some TLC is just get a a little bit of soapy water on a, a an old scouring pad or something like that. You know, like one of these wee nylon cloths that your mum might use for the dishes. Hopefully you use for the dishes when you take a turn as well. A, and just give the edge of the wheel a rub round because it does get a bit grubby with stuff off the road and the the 
the dust off the brake discs so giving that a clean helps as well and that's it do the same with the back brake and hopefully brakes are working ready to go for a pedal we will see you on the next video